Hello guys, good morning. Uh, welcome back to our tutorial uh, YouTube channel guys. So this is part 4 now guys. So yesterday we finished uh, writing the Excel service here. So we found out uh, yesterday that it's not working because uh, I think uh, it's conversion error. So instead guys, I, I, I changed my table structure. So as you can see in my model now, instead of this one having a decimal, I just change it to string. So as you can see, uh, because uh, the Excel type is string, so I just change it to string for now and later on I will just... So uh, you can see my snapshot here, so it's already being changed. Right, so... Uh, let's try again now. I still have one problem I will show you and how we are going to to resolve it or how we are going to I know the the problem but I want to let you see the issue and how we are going to fix it. Alright, so when we upload here um, okay. So you can see that uh, it's like this. Uh, oh, it's not having error now. Oh, it's saving now. So if you can see in my service here, so this will be the table that it's going to save. So it's saving now. So what happened? Why I cannot replicate there? Maybe I will just build it. Because this will not save. I should have the error. Alright, so I will implement this. It's the statement. And buckets. Oh, okay, because it's I already enclosed that in the what's the delay in this using statement. Okay, so this one I will not look for columns. I have a column specific to number eight, uh, eight columns because our data is supposed to be our Excel format. Uh, they said this is final, so I just count this column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because I will, if I will let the program count how many columns, this part will be added because there are lots of entry here. Or I will delete this unnecessary entry. But I just make it fixed to until uh, column 8. I can put it in a configure configurable files so how many columns you are going to read for example like that all right so so instead of looking the columns i omit the looking now of the columns because i set it here which means to say this the row for example row one and column one row one column two row one column three like that then after that, it will loop another row 3, so row 3, column 1 again. And that's how we are going to save. So let's try it again. It's just the file, it's just the Excel here, upload. And then we go to the, this part. Let's see if we can get the error. Oh, why is that having the error now? Right, maybe. Not having the error. Column. So this is unnecessary now because we heard about the column. Alright, it's saving now. So. Um, to I have changed in my startup scope but 
let's go. In my home controller. Oh, this is the one. So, for example, change. For example, guys, I have to. Let's not save. I have to delete this. I mean, uh, I will not have it here. Uh, and of course, I will not have this. I just have uh, insert my action result like that. Alright, so this will have a problem. the file yeah in your setting is the one I'm talking about so it's gathering now but in saving yeah this is the issue that I've been fixing for how many hours so it say that cannot access a dispose object a common cause of this error is disposing a contact that was resolved from dependency injection and then later trying to use the same context instance elsewhere in your application. This may occur if you are calling this post on the context and dropping the context in a using statement. If you are using dependency injection, you should let the dependency injection container. So actually, uh, I was I was um, looking for the solution of this and I searched in Google. I read a lot of issues also there, but I cannot find any solution. So. But I tried to make, because this is, I read a certain article that some issue happening about this is because, uh, for example, I will just uh, object analysis issue here, so it will be simplified like that. So this service, we are not calling it an asynchronous, so that was the problem that there's a problem so we need to make this as asynchronous also so we have to await and since we have to await we make the method async and of course this one this will be task now i think close uh, we use the implementation of i no action result not the interface anymore so this way the problem solved so that's one way to solve so yeah, I was stuck up for two hours, three hours for that issue. But the problem is just this. To solve this, you just make the, the controller method for the upload file as asynchronous also. So if we run this, this will be okay. So let me try again. Because our Excel service is asynchronous, and our controller is not making asynchronous, so something is not in coordination of its calling method. So as you can see here, it says no problem anymore, right? So if you encounter such issue like that, so that's the solution. So now this is saving now to our. Yeah, so I just have to finish this. So it's reading, parsing. Ah, okay, we have another error here. Uh, object has set on instant of the object. So maybe the Excel file now. So try to look what's up into the Excel file. Right, maybe this part na there is blank. There is blank and it cannot fill. Yeah. You see in our record here, we have added 34 records only. So, might as well, the problem is here. This blank, we cannot. So, we need to check. If blank so we have to make this one uh, to do 
do like that so you can easily to debug because it's in object uh, initialization like before like that it's hard to debug you cannot debug inside so this one one by one you can debug so i think the issue is if there is null so we need to check here if the value of this worksheet yeah was if that is null and just condition else we should get the value which is this one so the better yeah. Okay, uh, let's just try this one. The value is equals to now. Can you just return into that keep the value? can just copy there and replace the whole of it. See if I just the same. So the column 3. Okay, the column 3 is not null, so we return the value of the column. So the column 4. Yeah, if you have a better solution for this, guys, you can implement it. Uh, this is already the pattern. How they are going to read the Excel using EPP Plus uh, Excel library. So you just install it. Um, yeah, this is a nice, nice library for reading an Excel file. You don't need an MS Office to be installed in your server. So we are just checking if the value is blank so we just return empty so it will not cause an error it's an object reference not set an object so that's basically the issue here hopefully the solution is the one we are just guessing all right guys yeah, so let's try again so we should debug from here. So upload now. So okay. So this value is not null. All right, so let's try to lock it. We can still get an object. All right, this one object not set to an reference. So the value is null. It's equals to null. So why it seems to be in front? Or just prefer in a set an instant and no object. It's already null, so that's why if it's null, if it's null, the value is null. 
It should see if it's blown. Will not hit me. This is your operator. If this is true, then you should return this empty. Why you said object is not set on object? Still, still not working. <laughs> object repairing has set to an object. There are people structure here. Okay, so this should be not null because our record will not allow in null value. Oh? It's allow, null, null, null. Only the ID. So, my records are ready, so I just can't get this table first. See how I can solve this if the value is null. It's still range value that did return null. Checking if it's null, it should return empty. Uh, why is still have an error? Put this in here. Ah, okay. I think we have to do this one. If not, equals to nine. So we reverse the condition. If not equals to nine, then we get the uh, the value to string. Let's just return in should be like that, I think.
this piece. So you know guys, in Apple, it's not working, so you just have to try and try until it will work. So there's no harm in trying how you figure out how to solve. Sometimes it's just a little tweak and it will be okay. So for example, this one, let's say we just reverse the condition so it will not contradict. Because if you are we are checking if not equals to null. Ah, so this is what we did. Okay. This is try and error, guys. So just, just take a look. If it will work. If not, then you need to find another way. Alright, so we are putting here the columns. So it depends on your requirements and the structure of your... I have created this ana, uh, kind of reading Excel that is also configurable. So I, it's meant to say that the condition, the columns, the row, and the data is in an XML file. So I think I have uploaded that also in my video. Okay what it should be fine you can browse on my youtube guys uh, there is uh, i think i have a report generator that that is so dynamic in creating reading the excel so what i did on this video was to uh, put that in a data set first and uh, before after reading the excel and before i I parse it, save it to a file, or save to the database. So I have a condition there. I read the XML file, and there is I have to check if that what is uh, what is in the configuration XML file is already is equal to in the row columns of the Excel, something like that. But this one, this is pretty straightforward. So and the the business said that the Excel should have that kind of format. So anyway, if they change it, then that's their fault. Uh, or we will just update, or else we will just update our program. So if there is a changes on the config file. So I think it's uploading now. And there's no error since we see here. Yeah, so you can see now it's 130. So there is the blank. This is the problem that is not. It's, uh, it's, yeah, but now it's not. So we can see that's our condition. We just tweak like that and we can parse now the. So it's still uploading. So many records. So. Yeah, we then put a break here, so it's still processing right now. You see, uh, I never like it so. We log it so we could see the login. As you can see here, there is already a built in log area. You yeah, just have to use this. Right. For now. So, yeah. So, how many records is being parsed now? So, this is 139 already in our Excel file. Our Excel file is only oh, 13. Why it's not stopping yet? I 
enter itself. Daniel. already done so let's try it again so yeah I have I have to put this success Turn the subsystem. So this is the identifier that's it's already done. So we have to move back from here. I return. So this would return. So this one should have a bar subsist here. So success. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I think we can go like that. Trunky the table again. So what is the difference with trunky table guys and so with the delete? <laughs> yeah. If you trunk it, uh, you can see here. The ID, the last ID uh, is already 139. If you just delete the record, the record will be deleted. But the next ID will be 140 so you don't delete the the counting of identity but if you trunk it it will receive also the yeah if you trunk it table it's just not as uh, I'm not like this room is spelled here so this is the difference between trunkit guys. Trunkit we start from the beginning of ID one. So the identity, the identity will re reset also. But if you just delete the record, the identity will continue. All right. So I upload it again, and this time you can see if it's done or not. So we should have uh, one thirty-nine records. Success, so it's done. So we look here actually just to pass to first the file of one hundred thirty five records. See. So we already uploaded. How many rows here? So 112 to our Excel file. I think 113. And since we start with uh, row 2, so it will be 112 only. See? So we got it all uploaded, guys. 
So that's it for now. So we are able to, yeah, we are able to upload the data. Yeah, so in our UI, we should have a drop down for the source. So I will just have to select uh, this thing, I think, select asterisk from, or oh, select source. Here, select uh, to display as under drop down for the source. You just have to select source from the indoor codes, like that. Uh, so you can have this, but of course, I would love to put this in. Uh, yeah, it's all Delphi, so. I think you can have select this thank you. This the this this look at the keyword. So all you have to do is to Google. Google is our friend. <laughs> select this thing or oh, this is the this is the command, this thing, so select this thing. Oh, so, something like that, guys, so we don't have any problem with it. Because Google is always there. <laughs> Google is always there to help us. So, with this thing, you just select. So, since it's only have one, so, but it's select this thing. So, for example, also for the destination, because we will have a vendor here. Uh, I mean, drop down to select. Uh, for example, the vendor, we have to, how many vendors we have here? This is just the three. Uh, for the destination. So this will be our next topic too because we are going to search to search from uh, the vendor the destination uh, so for example what's the cheapest price for example uh, yeah we have to put here for example uh, we data pie So for example this one okay so we can get the price but this should be this thing anyway we can do it I'm not doing it in a uh, school server side but I will do it in an entity framework form so for our next topic since we already upload there uh, we are going to from UI, so we are going to modify our UI and we should have a search here and we'll display the lowest price, at least two, best price. So yeah, that's that is, that's the purpose of this application. So they are just going to search what's the cheapest, at least two cheapest price for its container type. So there will be a drop down, the source destination and the vendor and we'll search what's the cheapest price based on the uploaded, uploaded data. So, yeah, that's for now, guys. Thank you for watching. So we're able to fix the problem and we're able to upload the data to our school server now. So I know that there are lots of enhancements for this project. So at least we are able to lay out the initial, the initial functionality. And then later on, we just modify it. All right? I hope you learn a lot, guys, on this ESP.NET Core NBC project. And we are using your uh, uh, repository pattern. So this is just a simple repository pattern. And you know how to register the services come from our service startup CS class. And how you are going to inject it in the constructor for example this one we are injecting it for the constructor so this is an abstraction so you cannot see exactly what's the implementation right for example uh, there are lots of of methods to use this so only one uh, variable is being used here so if you change you just change 
this one or the implementation for this one all right guys so uh, i think uh if you like this video share comment and of course subscribe and hit the bell button so in our upcoming series so you will be notified and happy learning guys thank you for supporting on your youtube channel bye bye